I am near the Ili River in the Almaty region. It's the favorite recreation place of Almaty fishermen and those who like extreme leisure. The latter row boats along the Ili until they reach Balkash Lake. In the early 20th century, the Ili was a lively river route going from western China, the Charin River famous for its canyon flows from the south into it. In 1970, Kapshagai Hydroelectric Power Station Dam was built on the Ili and Kapshagai Reservoir appeared there. Gradually, the reservoir turned into a summer resort for the residents of Almaty and the Almaty region. The town of Kapshagai, where the majority of gambling establishments of the country are concentrated, is lying not far from here. Those who come here to fish regularly say that you can catch a pike perch, catfish, wild carp, bream and grass carp in the Ili. I've decided to follow the experienced fisherman's example and cook cocktail, which is a traditional fish dish for the locals and those who come here for holiday. In addition, I'll fry roe. I'm sure this recipe will surprise you. Buying fresh fish from fishermen is the best way. Usually they sell it along the road or sell it to the nearest small markets. There are quite a lot of such markets near Kapshagai. It's better to buy all the vegetables we need to make cocktail here. In this case, you'll get 100% natural products grown in private kitchen gardens. Mainly Dacha dwellers and locals sell in these places. There are no profiteers here. Hello everyone, my name is Konstantin, I travel around Kazakhstan looking for unique recipes. Today I find myself on the bank of the Ili River in the Almaty region. As you know, the signature dish of this region is cocktail, which translates from Kazakh as green willow. We are under a green willow right now and have everything we need to make cocktail. Usually a big fish which is heavier than 3 kilograms is used to make this dish. As for us, We've bought a wild carp, which is quite large. I bought it from local fishermen. We also need vegetables, such as squashes, tomatoes, onions and spices. If you're lucky, we'll cook raw today. You can see that we're outside communing with nature, so there are flies and whatnot, which is why it's very important to wash the fish first. When choosing fish, we should pay attention to its gills, which must be red and smell like fresh fish. They shouldn't have any other smells. Then we take the fish and cut it along the spine. I'll show you how to do it. We start from the head. This work is for men because the fish is large and its bones are quite large too. We are finishing cutting the fish so that we could have a kind of a boat, like this one. We must gut the fish. It turns out we're lucky because the fish has roe, which is why we'll cook the roe Ili style. We are gutting it and removing the roe. Those who like the swim bladder can fry it separately, but we don't need it today. This is why, which is why we're putting these aside. We're putting the row into a separate bowl. We need to wash the fish properly. We've washed the fish properly. We don't need to scale it. It's the reason why I like cocktail recipe. In my opinion, the easier the better. We need to finish cutting it to have a proper boat. Then we make longitudinal cuts between ribs with a knife so that the fish could absorb salt properly.
We're doing the same between all the ribs. Then we take salt. We need quite a lot of salt. It's a common mistake not to salt fish properly. We aren't going to make this mistake, we are salting it properly. Let's leave it like this for 40 minutes. Meanwhile, I'll be making cocktail stuffing. We are continuing to make cocktail Illy style under this wonderful green willow on the bank of the amazing Illy river. We've already prepared the fish and now let's work on the stuffing. To make the stuffing we need to chop onions, People peel onions in different ways. I leave the stem end because it makes it easier to hold it. To make the stuffing we should chop an onion in half rings like this. Since cooking in equipment for cocktail makes fish very dry, onions add some moisture thanks to which fish turns out really juicy. After we've prepared the onions, we add mayonnaise to them. Add black pepper and paprika. Stir these ingredients properly. The stuffing for a Lee cocktail is ready. We put it aside. Now we're chopping a squash into rings. You need to wash it properly beforehand too. Let's take another squash. It's been already washed too. We chop it into rings too. We're putting the squashes aside. Now only tomatoes are left to be chopped. You can chop them into rings too. The stuffing and everything for cooking the fish is ready. Now we have to rinse salt away from the fish, then we'll fill the fish with the stuffing. While I'm making a fire for cocktail, the fish will be marinated in these vegetables, which is another secret I have. We've washed the fish properly. Let's put it on the gridiron. 
It should look like a boat. Now it's time for using the onions with mayonnaise. We're spreading them over the whole fish. As you understand, the wild carp will be marinated in mayonnaise, onion juice and spices while I'm making a fire for equipment for making cocktail. The next layer is tomatoes. We are spreading them over our great large fish. We're using tomatoes because while cooking, they'll give their juice to the fish. A lot of people make a mistake and put tomatoes on the top. Yes, and this way it looks better, but the taste is worse. Therefore, you should do it in the correct way. Finally, we are spreading the upper layer, which consists of squashes. They are the top of our culinary composition. The tomato juice won't move upwards, but will go downwards towards the fish. So the fish is ready for cooking. Now we should work on the fire and equipment for making cocktail. In old times, cocktail was made in a bit different way. There weren't any spices or special marinades, which is why fishermen caught fresh fish, dug a hole on a bank and put willow twigs there. They put the fish inside, covered it with earth and made a fire on the top. We use this like an oven, but it's very effective and modern. I've put reed leaves on the bottom of the equipment for making cocktail. You can do it in a different way and use stone fruit or willow twigs. However, I've decided to follow Ili Fisherman's advice because we're cooking Ili cocktail. Cut the fish along the spine. Wash, cut it, make longitudinal cuts and rub it with salt properly. Then leave it for half an hour or an hour to absorb salt. Meanwhile, chop the onions, mix in plenty of mayonnaise and season with black pepper. Then rinse salt away from the wild carp and put a thick layer of the onions with mayonnaise on it. Then put tomatoes and cover them with chopped squashes on top. Smear it with a little of mayonnaise and put into equipment for making cocktail, where I recommend to add a few twigs of stone fruit or coniferous trees so that it has a nice smell. If you want it to have a smell of smoke, you can put reeds on the bottom. If you want real Ili cocktail, put a few willow twigs. We are lucky today because the wild carp was with roe. I bought some more oil from local fishermen to have enough of it to cook real roe kapchagai style. Let's put the roe into a larger bowl. We wash it beforehand. We're removing the roll from the skin. We don't need skin, which is why we're removing it properly. You can press it a little with a fork. After removing the roe from the skin, we add some salt. Stir it and leave to absorb salt properly. 
To make Rogue Kapshagai style, we also use mayonnaise and mustard. The ratio between them is approximately 1 to 2. It means we need one part of mustard and two equal parts of mayonnaise. We'll put the full amount of mustard here. We've mixed the mustard with mayonnaise. And now we're adding spices to taste. We must mix all these ingredients. By the way, there is another way of cooking roe over the fire outdoors, and in this case you don't need to remove the roe from skin. You just need to put it into a large cooking pot with hot oil and fried onion. And this way roe is cooked almost like deep-fried roe. However, we've chosen the Kapshagai way, so we'll have roe Kapshagai style. Now we take foil. We need three sheets of it. Now we are spreading the layers. First we spread mayonnaise, then roe. The roe will mix with mayonnaise and mustard, absorb smoke and smell like reed. Finally we'll have something amazing. I already feel hungry. Then we're putting a little of mustard with mayonnaise again and a layer of it. Let's put roe again. In this way we'll have a kind of multiple layer roe pie. We are spreading mayonnaise again. So we have two foil packages of roe. Now we're going to put them into the equipment for making cocktail. Remove roe from the skein, salt it and leave for a while. Mix mayonnaise with spices and mustard, put the roe on a few foil sheets, then spread mayonnaise and put roe and mayonnaise again. Wrap the roe in foil and cook in the equipment for making cocktail until done. I love this country so much. It's impossible to convey all the colors of this amazing nature and taste of this unique food. You must try it and see yourselves. Travel around Kazakhstan and cook together with me. 